Here is a flip through of Apologia's brand new math program, Exploring Creation with Mathematics. We will be using level two with my second grader this year, and I am super excited to get to try this program. The teaching guide begins with a suggested daily schedule, which I feel is very well laid out. It's broken down by week, day, chapter, lesson, what the lesson is about, all in a very easy to read format. I really do appreciate this. I am a checklist girl. The teaching guide then moves into the introduction written by the author, so you get some insight into how the program works. And then the rest of the book is set up with teaching notes and answer key. There's one for each lesson. And then at the beginning of each unit, you will find some information on what that unit will be about. The back of the book is full of the um, resources for all of the activities. I am loving this. Very colorful, engaging, and yet still very, very simple. Things I think we might actually do. I know there are times when you get a program that's full of activities and you start looking through them like, there is just no way I can do all this. But these seem pretty straightforward. There's a complete supply list, which is very reasonable. Most of these things we already have. A handful of things we'll have to collect from around the house. The student book is spiral bound, easy to open. I like that. The scope and sequence seems somewhat familiar to the math you see that we are used to, although I don't know that they have classified this as strictly mastery the way Matthew C does. I can tell that it at least focuses on one major topic at a time. The daily lessons are set up pretty easily um, or pretty consistently where you start with an activity, then there's an explanation of the skill and a skill practice. There's an activity, some explanation, and a skill practice. Some days are more than others depending on the skill, but very consistent setup, which is very nice. Uh, you can get into a good rhythm with a course that's set up consistently like that. An activity, an explanation if needed, and a practice. I love that the pages are colorful. That's going to be far more engaging for my color loving seven year old. Activity, practice. Another thing that I am liking is that the practice, um, the practice problems seem to be pretty short and sweet, straight to the point, which I find far more meaningful uh, for the student than, you know, 50 addition problems on one page. That can be very overwhelming. But when you have just a handful, you can really get into it, figure it out without feeling so overwhelmed. So activity, practice. Okay. You can definitely get a feel that it's going to get far or increasingly more challenging, covering more material at a time. Tying in everyday skills, working with coins, I appreciate the emphasis on place value with multi-digit problems. And probably going to be our favorite part is that the course ends with a pizza party, which I think is super sweet and lots of fun. Um, it's an activity that the children will love doing, but for my sake, it doesn't feel 
you know, quite such a big deal. We would do this every once in a while anyway, um, follow a recipe and make a fun dinner. There you have it. Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics, level two.